What would happen if we gave artificial intelligence a prompt to design a physical laser cut product? For this physical product prototype, let's start with a basic phrase like stunning wood table lamp made with a laser cutter and see what comes out. The first few images look like a beautiful solid piece of wood carved into an intricate table lamp. As I refined the image, it transformed into a simple four-sided candle light with a tree pattern cut out of each side. I made a few more refinements and the one that I really liked and thought we could laser cut was this one where there's wide trunks and branches along with dense foliage at the top. All we need to do now is extract the pattern from the lamp in Photoshop, get the line work in Illustrator, and create a frame in Rhino for laser cutting. I start up my laser cutter, insert a sheet of 8th inch cherry plywood, and start cutting each panel of this lamp. The first pass focused on cutting out the tree trunk, branches, and foliage pattern for all four panels. I usually cover my materials with paper masking tape to protect it from scorches and burns, which you can see appearing next to all the cuts. I decided not to cover the cherry plywood for this project because of the intricate areas that had to be laser cut. Sometimes the masking tape will come up and if there are lots of small cutouts, the tape could catch on fire. Since I'm using wood, this isn't an issue because I can sand down the surface of the material to clean it up. This laser cutting process took roughly 45 minutes to cut all the panels including the patterns on four different pieces. Once the pieces were cut, I removed them from the laser cutter, placed them on my work table, and used a palm sander with a fine grit sandpaper to clean up the surfaces. To give the cherry plywood a nice finish, I rubbed the natural oil onto the surface. Once the oil dried, I took flat sheets of trace paper which has a translucent property and cut it to a size where it would cover all the cutouts of each panel. Using super glue, I attach the trace paper to the inside surface of the panels. With the same super glue, I applied a few drops along each slot on one panel. Then I brought over the adjacent panel, aligned the tabs with the slots, and pressed them into place until the glue started to harden. Once all the sides were attached, I applied glue at the bottom of each panel, brought over the square base, aligned the tabs with the slots, and pushed the walls into place. With that, this AI design table lamp is complete. Here's a comparison of the lamp in the image to the one that we laser cut. If you enjoyed this video, check out these laser cut wood projects and consider subscribing. I look forward to seeing you again next week.